Okay, I think what I'll teach you next is what segmentation is. Okay, go back to where it says printing there and click on that. Again, you have a block of data, mm -hmm. all right? Well, there are often times when we want to do volume measurements where we don't want the whole uh, block of data. What if we wanted to just measure the volume of the aorta? Okay, we'll, we'll do that now. We'll segment for that. Okay, so click back on. So if you move this blue slider to the artificial valve there, right into kind of just a little farther, stop there, that's more or less where the ventricle and the aorta meet. Middle mouse hold here and push forward. Middle mouse hold. That's the wheel. Good, okay. So right where the blue is, right in the middle of that uh, thing, well, you're gonna have trouble hitting it exactly. So what I want you to do actually is hold down the left mouse and then move it upward. Stop. Okay, so let's move it the other way. Stop. A little farther. A little farther. Stop. See that's almost parallel there? Mm -hmm. Hold down Alt and click right on in the middle of the blue circle. Now hold down the middle mouse. Let go of Alt. Just hold down the middle mouse button and push forward. Okay, stop. And now rotate it a little bit again. Left mouse hold. I don't know what you did there. You double clicked or something. So you want a middle mouse hold and pull it down a little bit. I'm sorry, left mouse hold and pull down, stop. More or less. Okay, you'll, you'll sort that in, out in a little bit. If you right click on the green line right there and you say break tree, now we have just the part that had been in the ventricle. Right click on the line and say delete branch. So now we have just the aorta, okay? The computer can use the center line and the thresholding you did to automatically segment. You see where it says extract here in mm -hmm. the tool panel? Click on that. Okay, so now we have the aorta that was, you know, within the field of view. I'm gonna take over the mouse just in the interest of time here real quick. And I'm going to bring it down to where the pleural reflection is. Y you know, the, the diaphragmatic hiatus is cone-shaped. It's not a circle. So we have to kind of arbitrarily decide where the thoracic aorta ends and the abdominal one begins. And people will alternatively do the celiac axis origin or the reflection of the pleura. We really ought to uh, sort that out as a community. Anyway, we'll we'll say it's here. Here, let's delete that. I right did a right click and hide for that measurement. I'm going to right click here, break tree, click on this piece we don't want. Plaque analysis. We'll get into a different time. Why is it not? There we go. I'm going to say delete branch. So now we have just the part we want. Hit extract again. Okay, so we have just the thoracic aorta now. Just its lumen. Right click on it. And then come down to, sh wait, nope. Right click somewhere else, anywhere. Go measurement, and then come to volume. Just say, do not show this, and hit okay. That's the true volume by voxel counting of this segmentation wow, that you okay. did. So you actually know now, kind of in general, what the volume of a thoracic aorta is. It's about 240 cc's. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know that. Yeah. Now you have this special knowledge, huh. all because of the power of segmentation. Okay. Cool. Now if you had to segment thrombus, you might have to segment by hand. 
or do some complex noise reduction tricks, which I can show you in a minute. All right, but let, let's find another data set with an abdominal aortic aneurysm to get into that more top shelf segmentation that's semi-automated instead of fully automated. Okay, turn off the, the movie.